Welcome back to Timeframe Tales, where we continue our exploration of the Industrial Revolution, a period of profound transformation and innovation between 1760 and 1860. In our last episode, we witnessed the groundbreaking puddling process of 1784, introduced by Henry Court, which revolutionized iron production by using coke, setting a new standard in industrial efficiency. Today, we shift our focus to another pivotal invention that further accelerated the pace of the Industrial Revolution. In the year 1785, Edmund Cartwright, a name less familiar but equally important, introduced the power loom, an ingenious machine that automated the weaving process, and in doing so, spun a new thread in the fabric of industrial history. In the bustling textile mills of the 18th century, the introduction of the power loom represented a seismic shift from manual labor to mechanized production. Building upon the steam power advancements championed by James Watt, which we explored in an earlier episode, the power loom stood as a testament to human ingenuity and its capacity to reshape the world. But the journey of the power loom, much like the Industrial Revolution itself, was not just about the machinery. It was a story interwoven with social, economic, and cultural threads, each playing a crucial role in this era of unprecedented change. In this episode, we will delve into the life of Edmund Cartwright, unravel the mechanics of his power loom, and explore its profound impact on the textile industry and beyond. Join us as we uncover how this invention not only transformed the way textiles were made but also how it wove itself into the very fabric of the Industrial Revolution. Edmund Cartwright, a notable figure in the annals of the Industrial Revolution, was born on April 24, 1743, in Marnham, Nottinghamshire, England. Born into a well-to-do family, Cartwright was the fourth son of William Cartwright, a landowner and local magistrate, and his wife, Elizabeth. This affluent background afforded him opportunities for a robust education and a comfortable upbringing. He received his early education at Queen Elizabeth Grammar School, Wakefield, and began his studies at University College, Oxford in 1757, under the age of normal matriculation, and officially matriculated in 1760. He completed his Bachelor of Arts in 1764 and Master of Arts in 1766 and was elected a Fellow of Magdalen College, Oxford, in 1764. He was later awarded the degree of Doctor of Divinity in 1806. Cartwright's journey through Oxford reflects a strong academic inclination from an early age, supported by his family's background. Notably, Cartwright's family wealth and status played a significant role in his educational journey and later endeavors. The financial security and connections provided by his family's standing enabled him to pursue his interests without the immediate pressure of earning a living, a privilege that was not common in the 18th century. After completing his education, Cartwright initially followed a traditional path suited to his social standing and education, taking holy orders in the Church of England in 1779. He served as a clergyman for several years, a role that, while respectable, did not fully engage his inventive and mechanical interests. It was not until later in his life, spurred by the burgeoning innovations of the Industrial Revolution, that Cartwright's interest in mechanical inventions truly flourished. His foray into the world of invention was somewhat unconventional, given his background and initial career choice. However, his upbringing, education, and the wealth of his family provided a foundation that allowed him the freedom to explore and contribute significantly to the technological advancements of his time. The power loom, invented by Edmund Cartwright in 1785, represented a significant advancement in textile manufacturing by automating the weaving process. Its operation was based on a series of mechanical and automated principles, contrasting sharply with the manual efforts required by traditional hand looms. Here's a more detailed look at how the power loom worked. The fundamental components of weaving are the warp, longitudinal yarns, and the weft, crosswise yarns. In the power loom, the warp yarns were held under tension on a beam. The weft yarn was inserted through the warp, which is a basic weaving action. The power loom replaced manual operations with mechanical devices. It used a series of gears, pulleys, and belts, connected to a steam engine or other power sources. These components worked together to control the movement of the warp and weft threads. This mechanization allowed for more precise and rapid weaving compared to manual methods. 
One of the key innovations of the power loom was its ability to automate processes that were previously performed by hand. For example, earlier looms required a weaver to throw the shuttle, containing the weft thread, back and forth across the loom. In contrast, the power loom used mechanical means to handle these tasks, significantly speeding up the process. This automation and mechanical operation meant a single power loom could do the work of multiple hand-operated looms. It significantly increased the speed and efficiency of textile production. The power loom could handle heavier materials and operate at a much faster pace than was possible by hand, leading to a substantial increase in textile production capacity. After Cartwright's initial invention, the power loom underwent numerous refinements by other inventors. These improvements included enhancements to the loom's efficiency, the ability to work with different types of yarns, and adaptations that further automated the weaving process. Edmund Cartwright's life following his invention of the power loom in 1785 is a story of both innovation and struggle, marked by continued creativity but also financial difficulties. After inventing the power loom, Cartwright attempted to commercialize it but faced considerable challenges. The initial models of his loom were not very reliable and did not perform well, which hindered their acceptance in the industry. This led to significant financial difficulties for Cartwright, as he invested a lot of his own money into trying to perfect and promote his invention. Despite the limited success of the power loom, Cartwright continued to invent. He patented a wool combing machine in 1789 and a cordelier, a machine for making rope, in 1792. He even ventured into designing a steam engine that used alcohol instead of water. However, like the power loom, these inventions did not bring him much financial success. In 1809, the British Parliament granted Cartwright £10,000, a significant amount at the time, in recognition of the benefits his power loom invention brought to the British textile industry. This grant was a notable acknowledgement, considering that Cartwright's personal financial gains from his inventions were modest. His later life continued to be marked by his interest in mechanics and agriculture. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1821, an honor that acknowledged his contributions to science and invention. This recognition from one of the world's most prestigious scientific societies was a testament to his enduring impact on industrial technology. Power loom, despite its initial shortcomings, played a crucial role in the mechanization of the textile industry. It laid the foundation for future developments in weaving technology and significantly changed the dynamics of textile production. His invention was a key element in the Industrial Revolution, even though Cartwright himself did not witness its full impact during his lifetime. Cartwright's family life was intertwined with his professional endeavors. His daughter, Mary, became his biographer, publishing a comprehensive account of his life, writings, and inventions. This work not only provides insights into Cartwright's inventions but also offers a glimpse into his personal life and the challenges he faced. His struggles and eventual recognition reflect the broader challenges faced by inventors during the Industrial Revolution. Inventors often had to navigate a complex landscape of industrial and financial challenges, and not all were successful in reaping the rewards of their inventions during their lifetimes. In summary, Edmund Cartwright's life after invention was characterized by a mixture of innovation, financial struggle, and eventual recognition. His journey underscores the often challenging path of inventors and the significant gap that can exist between invention and commercial success. The most direct impact of Cartwright's power loom was its revolutionizing effect on the textile industry. By automating the weaving process, it significantly increased the speed and volume of cloth production. This shift from hand weaving to mechanized weaving was a key development in the Industrial Revolution, which saw a similar transformation across various industries. Cartwright's invention inspired a wave of technological innovation in textile machinery. Inventors and engineers built upon his design, leading to more sophisticated and efficient weaving machines. These innovations were not just limited to weaving but also influenced other aspects of textile production, including spinning and dyeing, contributing to the overall mechanization of the industry. The introduction of the power loom had profound socio-economic implications.
It was a major factor in the shift from rural, cottage-based industries to urban, factory-based production. This transition led to significant demographic changes, including urbanization and the development of factory towns. The power loom also changed labor dynamics, as the demand for skilled hand weavers declined, leading to a rise in factory workers and the associated labor movements. The mechanization brought about by Cartwright's loom was met with resistance, particularly from handloom weavers who saw their livelihoods threatened. This resistance sometimes turned into social unrest and violent protests. For instance, the Luddite movement in the early 19th century was partially a response to the widespread introduction of mechanized looms, which were seen as a threat to traditional jobs. Cartwright himself faced numerous setbacks with his invention. The early models of the power loom were mechanically unreliable and inefficient, which hindered their adoption. Moreover, Cartwright struggled financially, as he was unable to successfully commercialize his invention initially. Despite the transformative nature of his invention, Cartwright did not see substantial financial success during his lifetime. Despite its initial challenges, the power loom's long-term legacy is undeniable. It paved the way for the modern manufacturing landscape, setting a precedent for the automation of production processes. The power loom is seen as a landmark invention of the Industrial Revolution, symbolizing the shift towards modern industrial practices. In conclusion, Edmund Cartwright's power loom significantly impacted the Industrial Revolution, altering the course of industrial manufacturing and influencing the socio-economic fabric of the era. Its introduction marked a pivotal moment in industrial history, despite the inventor's personal challenges and the broader societal resistance it initially faced. And that wraps up our exploration of Edmund Cartwright's groundbreaking invention, the power loom, which played a pivotal role in the Industrial Revolution. We've seen how this invention not only revolutionized the textile industry by transforming weaving from a manual to a mechanized process, but also how it impacted the socio-economic landscape of the time, despite facing significant setbacks and resistance. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll delve into another remarkable invention of the Industrial Revolution, the threshing machine, invented by Andrew Meikle in 1786. This ingenious device mechanized the separation of grain from stalks and husks, dramatically changing agricultural practices. We'll explore how Meikle's invention contributed to the agricultural advancements of the era and its lasting impact on farming. Don't miss this insightful journey into another key invention that shaped the course of history.